to today's art club. Today we're going to be making masks. We've got a few examples here. And the thing about masks is sometimes when you're feeling like you need to be brave, sometimes a good thing to do is to put on a brave face. That's what we do, isn't it? We to have a bit of courage, we sort of put on a brave face. So we thought that making some masks today would be a good idea because sometimes in, in lots of cultures throughout history, people have worn masks to make themselves feel more brave. Oh, we've got an interloper, we've got a cat. <laughs> no one needs to see a cat bomb. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Today we're going to have a look at some spooky masks, then we'll make some of our own to scare away coronavirus. Masks have been used for thousands of years to create characters with exaggerated features which are said to scare away evil. Let's take a look. Saul Steinberg was a cartoonist in New York. He made masks out of paper bags for his friends. He thought that if we're pretending to be brave or happy, it's a bit like wearing a mask. These masks are from the Torres Strait Islands, north of Australia. They have big eyes and lips and are said to scare off evil spirits. In Sri Lanka, masks of the face of spirit Maru Raksha are believed to be the most powerful protection against evil forces. He is always depicted with his head surrounded by peacocks. Gothic churches in Europe are often surrounded by creepy faces carved in stone called gargoyles. They guard the church from evil but also serve as gutters. Rainwater flows out their mouths to protect the stone walls from water erosion. Photographer Aaron Klein took pictures of people in Bulgaria called Kukeri who wear these wooden masks with the faces of beasts. They hang heavy bells around their waists and they dance to scare away evil spirits. Pablo Picasso loved masks. Many of his portrait paintings looked like the people were wearing masks. Here are some he made from cardboard. He's wearing one that looks like an owl. These guys are a band from Peru called Dengue Dengue Dengue. They wear masks when they perform, which are bright and colorful. Let's make some masks to scare away evil spirits. We can use all sorts of things that we find around the house. We can have a look in the recycling box and find cardboard and other junk to use. Once we're done, let's put them up in our windows like gargoyles to scare evil spirits away. We're gonna make some masks today out of junk that we find around the house. We've got loo rolls, we've got paper cups, we've got um, bits of paper here, scraps of paper, scraps of cardboard. Also, things like bits from the recycling. So we've put together a few here. This one I've made from a Weetabix packet. We've got, this is the inside of the uh, cling film, I think. We've got some paper plates for eyebrows. We've got paper cups for eyes. And we've got a big scary tongue and this lovely beard. I think he's quite cool. So you can use a flat piece of cardboard to start yours off. That could be from a piece of packaging. Or you can use a paper bag. So if you were to get a brown paper bag or any paper bag you might have, that's a good start as well. So figure out your starting point, whether it's a flat piece of card or a bag. I also forgot to say, lots of these masks in um, in their sort of tribal contexts or as gargoyles and things, they're not actually worn as masks on your face. So you don't necessarily have to do the eye holes. So on this one, I kind of see this guy more as being something that we put in the window to, um, to scare away spooky spirits rather than actually wearing it. So you can put eye holes in it, but you also don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so this, I'm going to show you how I made this eyeball on this guy here with a paper cup. So I got my paper cup and I cut it off and I kept the extra bit here. So you've got that for the eye and then you can cut out a little bit of the curved bit here. I cut out and I made it into a little fringe that you can then put around the top here. So on this one, I've taped that on. 
And then to stick it onto the bag, we've used some washi tape. And what I really like about this activity is we can make the tape into the decoration. So we've added some stripes. We've made it look, what about this guy? You can see that the pink tape looks like it's part of the design. So don't worry about Show us what you got so far. Unsurprisingly, we have a cat here. <laughs> that's brilliant. I've never guessed. We'd never have guessed. That's brilliant. I love it. So yeah. good. Are you going to make him fierce? No. <laughs> Wow, we have made a mess today. Look at this cat. We've got an amazing cat with a big mane. <laughs> a fierce kitty cat. We've got these guys who are all looking kind of hypnotized, actually. This guy's got glasses. Mama, Mama, look. And then look. <gasps> oh, maybe the guy with the glasses hypnotized both of them. Yeah, maybe he's the mad professor that has hypnotized these guys. <laughs> what have you got, Elliot? Show me yours. Look at this guy. He's got some cool... Are they whiskers? Kind of. You they're could, his moustache. You could curl them up like a moustache because they're made of pipe cleaners, couldn't you? Look at this guy, he's got a pink fringe now. That's very cool. And I love your beautiful beard. You look terrifying and stylish at the same time. I love it. <laughs> he's awesome. Thank you so much for joining Art Club today. It's been brilliant. I love seeing all of your masks and your interpretive dance as well. It's excellent to see everyone just fully immersing themselves in the arts. It's brilliant. Um, I'm very excited to be surrounded by these guys now and I'm going to put them in our window to scare away coronavirus. So hopefully um, if you guys do that too, we can scare it away. That would be brilliant. And uh, we're going to say goodbye from these guys. Goodbye. <laughs>